Today, we get to watch my son's feet completely transform from this heavily calloused foot to this nice and smooth and a total reset. Now, you guys know I've been talking to the lead podologist at Foot Logics, and she recommended that we try their foot soak. So we did that this time, but unfortunately, she also recommended that we didn't have to soak nearly as long. And so I only soaked his feet for a half an hour this time instead of like an hour or more like we usually do. And it unfortunately didn't work quite as well as I had hoped. And that's really a bummer because you only get one shot at this. And after I started removing it, I really should have decided, okay, let's refill it with water and soak for like another half an hour. But instead, I just decided to go ahead with it and see how it was going to work. Well, it turned out that the outer layer of the skin was really quite softened and easy to remove, but the rest of it was just still quite thick once you started getting down to that darker layer underneath. And um, I so... I can't say anything about the product itself. It did a wonderful job of softening the outer layer of skin, but we're still going to have to soak for at least an hour to really do a good job with this, unfortunately. And um, it, it worked great, but not as great as I had hoped. So here we are. What is this? This is EPPK. If you're new here, this is a genetic condition that causes hyperkeratinized calluses on the hands and feet. And really the only way to get rid of it is removal with a blade or soaking and scraping a combination of the two, whatever works for you. And since my son is seven, he's younger, he's a lot more impatient. Um, I tend to do a soak and scrape first and then shave versus on my own feet. I really just usually come in and shave but also, he doesn't want to do it as as frequently as I do. Um, he wants to shave his feet basically as infrequently as possible. And so I kind of have to coax him along like, we really need to do this. We're going to do this soon. And eventually, he'll agree with me like, yeah, my feet are feeling extremely tight and it's really time to do it. But anyway, so because he wants to wait so very long between shaves, the scraping helps tremendously getting off the bulk of the hardest dead skin that's like a shell on the outside of his feet. And then it's a lot easier to come in and do the shaving and really remove it all. Uh, and I know that um, some people ask, how on earth can you know how deep to go when it's not your own foot? Because my response to the question that I get all the time, which is how do you know how deep to go without hurting yourself, is that I can feel it. And the answer is purely that by experience, understanding the way it feels, the texture, the way it looks, I can tell looking at it now how deep to go. That's not a skill that I had initially. It was kind of a challenge a few years ago when we started shaving it off instead of just scraping, but I've really figured it out. You might notice that he's like super twitchy and fidgety this time, and that is because we had a big problem. This time, he was super ticklish, which has never been the case before. And um, I don't know if it was because of the urea, urea in the Foot Logic soak that his skin was just extra supple and soft on the underlayer. That must have been it, because all previous times, he's barely been ticklish and usually been able to sit a lot more still. But this time, he was just wiggling and fussing and laughing. And I would show you the audio, but like also he was watching YouTube. And so there's like Kindly Kian or somebody shouting about video games in the background while he's also giggling and fussing. And it's just the audio is a total mess. And I have to say, this is probably the hardest video I have ever had to edit for TikTok or otherwise, because it... It, it was so jumping, like he was jumping out of frame, constantly wiggling. I was constantly having to reset. My back was hurting. The camera kept like dipping because I have a flexible tripod and it was like at this certain angle. So it just kept like falling forward toward his feet and just what a disaster. So I'm happy that I was able to get it together and edit this. It took me incredibly long time to edit, way longer than usual, but I'm I'm happy with the final result. And I hope that this gives you some insight into the procedure that we have to do to take off his skin. It's looking really good now. Um, I clipped his toes a little bit deeper and better than I usually do. He was very tolerant of that. And afterwards, we, we use the Foot Logics um, Very Dry Skin Mousse and then some regular lotion. And here they are feeling and looking great. And he's been so active and just so happy since it's been done.